Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Bash in Berlin is on Saturday. Again, also from Uber Arena in Berlin. 6 p.m. start time for those of you in the UK. 1 p.m. on the East Coast of the United States. 10 a.m. on the West Coast. I love this. Second straight week in a row that we get a pay-per-view at 1 p.m. Eastern time. I love this. I love this so much. WWE Women's Tag Team title. Alba Fire and Isla Dawn defend against Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill. Alba Fire and Isla Dawn need those tag titles a lot more than Bianca and Jade. That's for sure. I, I They do. Would it be better for Bianca and Jade to have those titles? Maybe. Probably would be better for viewers. I like Alba and Isla, but obviously Bianca and Jade, bigger stars, a little bit more aura going on there. So if they win the titles, that gives them the opportunity to show up on Raw, gives them the opportunity to show up down in NXT. So it could go either way here. I'm actually for putting the keeping the belts on Alba Fire and Isla Dawn and having somebody do something to Bianca and Jade. Not exactly Blair Davenport. I don't know if that's run its course yet, but do something to get them involved in something else that can be done either one-on-one -on -one or a tag situation with them. Keep the belts on Alba Fire and Isla Dawn because, to me, the more that they get reps, the, the better they are to me as a team. Kaylee Ray, uh, Alba Fire, a lot of experience for a long time. Isla Dawn was over in NXT, U NXT UK for quite some time. Comes over here. You know, it's been kind of hit and miss. The more she's actually in the ring, the more people get to see them as a team. I think that's going to be good. I mean, WWE on both the men's and the women's side, they have a lot of tag teams, but they don't have a lot of over tag teams. They don't have a lot of tag teams that have a whole lot of uh, confidence built up in them from the fans. So to me, keep the belts on Alba and Ilo for right now. Mixed tag team match, Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley against Dominic Mysterio and... Liv Morgan, Damian Priest, and Rhea Ripley have got to win this. All of Judgment Day can run in all that they want. Maybe some special guest can make an appearance. I don't know. Where's Bad Bunny at right now? Maybe he can offset Carlito, you know, or, or something like that. But however it goes down, I know one thing's for sure. Rhea Ripley is going to get her hands on Dominic Mysterio, and Rhea Ripley is going to throw around Dominic Mysterio. And even though WWE doesn't do these things... I would have Rhea Ripley beat Dominic Mysterio. You can do it in some sort of way where Damian Priest actually lays the hammer shot down on Dominic after he's already beaten down a little bit, and then Rhea can hit her hit him with the you know with whatever and get the pin. And Dominic doesn't lose anything. Look, even if you had Rhea just beat him, I don't think Dom's gonna lose any heat or anything like that, especially as he's teamed up with Liv Morgan. But I don't know. Because WWE usually does things in the way that they do them, maybe it's Rhea Ripley that gets the uh, final shot on Dominic Mysterio and Damian Priest ends up covering him for the victory. Strat match, CM Punk and Drew McIntyre. It used to be called the Indian Strat match. Can't say that anymore. Native American Strat match, maybe we'll go with that. How about Wahoo McDaniel's specialty match? Loved Wahoo McDaniel. Much better Strat matches than, say, Jay Youngblood would have. Although, who was it? Dustin Rhodes? Was it Dustin and, and Cody had a hell of a strap match, of them, if I recall correctly. I know there's been one here uh, recently in the past couple of years that was really, really good. Punk and McIntyre ought to be great. I'm hoping it's great. I'm hoping without Seth Rollins there, yes, we do have the specter of the, the bracelet and all that sort of stuff. Fine, whatever. Who cares? When they get in there, they ought to beat the hell out of each other. I'm betting the blade is going to be involved because if the blade is involved in any of these five matches this should be the one the gimmick match should be the one that it's in and i think the result of this it's just a very old school thing to do but i think it would be the most intelligent thing to do in this situation and that is drew mcintyre is beating down punk beating him down beating him down he gets him he wraps up his throat, he pulls him over his shoulder to kind of hang him, and Drew goes over to the first turnbuckle and slaps it, and as he turns, CM Punk hits it. 
Drew goes to the second one, taps it. Punk, who's laying there choking behind him, he touches it. Go to the third one, same thing. When you get to the fourth one, CM Punk turns it around. He taps it. He gets the victory. He passes out. Once the match is over, he's laying there in a heap. Drew McIntyre will be out of his mind. You can have Drew McIntyre beat him down afterwards if you want. You can have Drew McIntyre go on Raw on Monday and complain about how the referee counted it wrong or whatever you want to do. CM Punk, to me, get, should get the victory here in this type of match and, and make it in a way where Drew McIntyre can say it's a fluke. Drew McIntyre can say he has an out. Drew McIntyre can do something to not lose any heat, although I don't think that there's a shot that those two can lose any heat at all as long as you hand them microphones. I'm giving CM Punk the victory here. Undisputed WWE Universal title, Cody Rhodes against Kevin Owens, and the WWE World Heavyweight title, Gunther against Randy Orton. I would assume Gunther and Randy Orton is the main event of this show. I would hope that it is the main event of this show. What's interesting about both is you have both Kevin Owens and Randy Orton in situations where they could turn on Cody Rhodes at some point on SmackDown. I don't see Owens beating Rhodes, because why? Same thing with Randy Orton and Gunther. They're going to be both really, really good matches, but I believe that both are just going to go on and tell further stories with Kevin Owens, Randy Orton, and with Cody Rhodes, and with this whole looming... Uh, wonder if anybody is going to turn on Cody. Randy Orton kind of hinted at that. Kevin Owens picked up the title belt last week on SmackDown, marched over. A lot of people thought he was going to hit Cody with it, but no, walks over, hands it to him, and then starts yelling at, all, at Grayson Waller and Austin Theory. So I still believe that all of that is going to be going down the line to, at some point, Cody getting into it with Randy Orton and Kevin Owens. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. You also get Observer Archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.